hi i'm extra yogurt and welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome and if you're not new then welcome back and thanks for checking out my video again so today we'll be building um in sun water again uh and if you guys don't remember this was a new neighborhood that i just recently started and it's dedicated to cc free small lots and if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, then you'll know that I constantly struggled with building just oversized lots that were fun to build and they looked nice, but in the end wouldn't run well on my computer or like anybody's computer. So um, this is kind of like meant to be a breath of fresh air. And you know, um, in the end i hope to have like a full complete project that i can upload and then you guys can have like a complete starter pack of small cc free lots and on top of it too um something that i'm used to doing is not furnishing my residential lots and with this neighborhood i'll be furnishing every single lot um, so everything's completely moving ready and yeah just overall trying to do an overall overhaul on my building technique and like um just like the amount of just just like the quality of my builds uh because also i'm making it a point to play test every single lot um that was another issue i had before but i'm probably being a little bit too hard on myself but i just want to make sure that nobody has issues with the lots and i want them to be fun to play because um as you guys know like i'm really big on building but when it's time for me to play like i still need like anybody else like i still need playable lots which is not what i was building before so these little three lots that i just put down this is gonna be our little starter home corner um i named the road corner hill drive and uh somebody actually someone who commented um actually suggested that i do not only starter homes but like really really cheap starter homes I'll, I'll actually put the comment on the screen for you guys so thank you so much for that suggestion um i mean obviously like you know we all know the concept of starter homes but like to really push the envelope and try to make it even like cheaper so all of these homes are under seventeen thousand simoleons and um honestly i wish i kind of challenged myself a bit more and tried to hit that ten thousand simoleon mark but i just felt like i don't know like i was just building and i was having fun building and then i wasn't really thinking about the price anymore and um it just turned out this way so i'll probably give it another try and try to make even cheaper fully furnished homes but um I really like how these came out so this first one kind of gives me uh, like georgia vibes it's just like very um what's the word like it, the siding and and the um the what do you call them window shutters uh and like the porch and everything uh with the overhang it just kind of gave me those kind of vibes and um, I think it's really cute. I liked it a lot. Uh, I decided to go ahead and use foundation for this, even though, of course, that ate up a lot of money, but I thought it was essential and we made it work in the end. So, um, yeah. okay so i can't remember the last time i actually talked to you guys about anything about my actual life and not just <laughs> builds and stuff but i just needed to get on here and tell you guys about my experience um finding a new job because i'll be moving soon and when i tell you i okay guys so i'm i'm 23 years old I'm still at the beginning of my career and 
job hunting is like a different breed of difficult like I nothing could have prepared me for this and it's kind of like you know like I'm I don't have a degree so <laughs> I mean I'm working on my degree as as we speak but uh it just makes it substantially harder to find what I'm looking for and I've been so stressed about it and that's one of the reasons that I felt like building tonight because I have just been so stressed about job searching and if anyone can relate please let me know but like it's just a lot like I'm I'm just going through a lot of big life changes and I wanted to share that with you guys um, because I don't want this to just be a channel where I just talk about foundations and columns and, and walls but but yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely trying to get used to this part of adulting. It's, it's very overwhelming and shout out, shout out to the people who have already like been there and done that already, but changing careers or changing jobs or whatever it is, it's very nerve wracking. It's very anxiety inducing. And like, it just makes you question yourself a lot like it makes you question your abilities and like do i really know what i thought i knew and stuff like that it's it's just been so stressful guys but it's not all bad it's also very exciting but um but yeah sometimes you just need to get on sims and de-stress and build yourself a house and just not think about real life so <laughs> that's what we're here doing today So some of you guys may notice that I quite frequently choose to do this fence thing where I just uh, fence off the backyard of the house because I genuinely cannot stand when stray dogs like they run on your lot and they start digging holes everywhere. It's so annoying. And so also I hate when Sims go to the back of the house and like run back there when it's raining just to splash and puddle stuff like that. So this uh, the like little bit of fencing that's kind of my way of combating that it's kind of like okay everyone everyone stay up here up front so um that's why i tend to do that a lot uh in one of the builds in this video i didn't fence off the back but that's because like just the way i had the terrain and everything i think that uh sims won't go back there anyway but but yeah so Speaking of the rest of the builds here, I at first had the intention of making all of the houses kind of the same style, but I just I just went completely off the rails. So all three builds in this video are completely different. They don't even go together. They look kind of strange being on the same street even, but I'm totally okay with that. So. Um, so yeah, so for this house, I decided that my color scheme was going to be like that dark um, kind of maroon color and green, like very mute, mild greens. Um, and I like how it turned out. I think that when you like you guys see the wallpaper there, how it's just like there's no wall there or anything. It just like immediately switches from stucco to paint. I find that that can look kind of harsh and I don't love that but I'm trying to just let the creativity flow and not be so much of a perfectionist and just build and I had so much fun building these homes. I love that it wasn't, it was like um, 
I feel like it was just good for my mind because it wasn't me spending eight hours on a singular build. Like the fact that I'm able to build three lots, get, you know, take all the screenshots, get the video done and like all that in, in one night. I think that that really helped my mental a lot because some of the videos that I've done that like just the amount of time I've taken is it's ridiculous but um but speaking of builds so I uh, I'm, I'm more of a creator than I am in a uh, consumer of like sims content I guess I absolutely love um, sims content don't get me wrong but I feel like um, I don't know I just focus more on taking inspiration for my own like builds and stuff but uh, I came across this Simmers page on Mod The Sims called Sim Arc or Sim Architect and their builds are just phenomenal. I was just amazed at the creativity and uh, I had downloaded one of their homes for uh, a family in Pleasant View and I was just observing like uh, like all the techniques that they use and I just thought it was I mean, it, it's insane, like the um, the amount of skill that it takes to build like that. So if you guys know, if well, if you guys don't know, Sim Arc, like like Architect, short for Architect, uh, definitely check them out on Mod The Sims. Their builds are very unique, very very unique, well done. Pretty much always CC free, which we all can appreciate, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so. I, I, I've just like been trying to, I don't know, like I, I need to grow my building skills in some, in some kind of way. So I've decided to do that by just taking inspiration from others. So, so yeah, um, pretty basic things in this home. You guys are going to see that all three of the lots in this video. It, it's really just the basics because that's all we can afford and there's actually a little bit of money for some decorative items like plants um, and wall uh, wall art and things like that so I thought that was really nice um, the IKEA home stuff really came in handy in this build and the other builds because everything is just dirt cheap I mean there's like an IKEA lamp floor lamp that's like 37 simoleons I just think it's so great so um so yeah All right, so here we are at the end of the first build. I hope you guys really like how it came out. This is definitely my favorite build of the three. Um, it just looks really homey and it looks it looks expensive even though it's super affordable. Um, you guys can see how slow my camera's going because I have a camera mod installed that is phenomenal for movie making and taking pictures. So I just, um, 
I just decided to do less cinematic shots since they're longer, if that makes sense. But here's the final screenshots of the home. The backyard is absolutely massive. There's plenty of space for expansion or whatever backyard activities your sim wants to have. Um, the landscaping is decent. Like it's it's plain, but it's it has everything you need and it's like visually appealing. Um, but yeah, I really like how it turned out. Um, let me know what you guys think of this first build because we're about to get right into the next build right after this picture. <laughs> so this next build, oh, and there's the layout, my bad. But this next build is like, I don't know. I don't know what I had in mind for it. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's very odd. It's, it's um it's it's just different like i decided i wanted to do like make the lot elevated and like do like a like this grand stairway entrance and it, it's just it's just different you guys will see it's a unique build um but yeah i the way that this lot is designed i see it as more for like young young sims whether it be like college sims or i mean young adult sims or like um just younger sims if that makes sense like just the way that it's designed it's very hip and modern because it's like a bunch of ikea stuff ikea stuff never goes out of style i don't care what anyone says ikea stuff never goes out of style in the game and in real life pretty much i've pretty much furnished my entire house or my entire apartment in ikea stuff so um anyway so i made that little hangout area like using the foundations it's just yeah i don't know what i was thinking but i do like how it came out in the end so yeah
all right guys i'm back so you guys will see me doing this terrain thing or a uh, terrain paint thing that i do where i'll put the grass and then i'll put dirt and then i'll put grass over it um i just do that to make the grass look more weathered and a lot more normal because you know like there's like hot spots uh, well in real life there will be like hot spots in the grass that like some areas don't grow as well as others and i just i just like how it looks it doesn't look too perfect or too green it just gives it a lot more of a realistic feel so that's just a little tip for you guys um if you want to try it for yourself it i feel like it really adds adds to the lot it just uh it, it just depends though like if i was building a mansion or something i might want the grass to be picture perfect i might want it to be like perfectly green but but yeah so anyways we've moved on to the interior and i kind of went with this dark um like kind of moody like atmosphere or vibe or whatever i always say vibe i need to find better words for it but i just went with like gray and darker colors and i just wanted it to be like very relaxing not too bright since the outside of the house is very bright um and of course i use the the uh, foundations as planters and as always guys like you know your sims won't be able to won't be able to take care of those flowers you'll just have to um, replace them when they die um, also I don't know if you guys knew this but um, if you sometimes like when you have flower patches or whatever and the flowers die if you just wait for the seasons to change then the flowers will actually grow back on their own so like when they look dead they may not be completely dead um and sometimes you just need to water them so i just found that really interesting and yes even if they are on the planter boxes sometimes they do come back to life if if i remember correctly but um, here I am just trying to do a little bit of landscaping. I end up changing those shrubs. It looks really awkward and weird. Um, and I just put a couple up front. Uh, these shrubs will really drive the cost of a lot up big time. I, they're like a hundred each or something. And then like a hundred to like 150 each. So yeah, I had to be sparing with those. And, um, yeah, so the kitchen looks kind of plain and basic. It kind of has, it almost looks like a cafeteria kitchen just because of the counters, but I think it went well. I think, I mean, firstly, it worked with our budget, which is most important. And I think it worked well with the rest of the house. Also guys, it may look like my uh, the speed of my speed build is too fast because my camera keeps whipping around, but I promise it's just, just what happened to my camera controls when I um, installed the DVXK thing uh, to make my game run better. It, it just makes your camera super sensitive, so sorry about like my camera whipping back and forth, but... Um, but yeah, so I, uh, here I am furnishing the bathroom. I thought this was like really cute. It came out so much better than I expected. It, it's like, um, I don't know. I just never would have thought to put those tiles with, with that wallpaper for the bathroom in the kitchen. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, in the last house, the theme colors were that maroon and green, like I said, and for this house, I decided to go with like white, gray, and blue as the theme colors. And guys, when you pick when you pick a color scheme for your build, it just makes furnishing so much easier. I mean, it's not totally realistic because I don't. I think most people probably color coordinate by room and not so much the entire house, but. But yeah, um, it just makes it so much easier to decorate and furnish. At least that's what I found. And I just missed feeling this good while building and not feeling like it was it was a project, even though I'm totally okay with that too, because I can sit here and build for hours. But 
I just felt um, I didn't put any pressure on myself to make things perfect. Uh, however, I did play test all of these lots, so they all work. Um, so <laughs> no, no objects are going to be in your Sims way. Like everything works as it should work. So uh, no need to worry about that. And yeah. All right, so here we are in our third and final build for this video. Um, this this one, I kind of wanted to be, I don't know, a lot more like colorful. Um, I'm not really sure what I was going for, but the inside is very cohesive. The outside is very cohesive. I just don't know if they work together all that well, but nevertheless, it's still a really cute build and I hope you guys like it. Um, but yeah, so like, like I've said before, guys, I, I get so much inspiration from other builders. I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and something that I said in my, uh, build tutorial video that I posted was like, the, like, don't always be so concerned about building something exactly as you saw it. Honestly, a lot of times just looking over lots of different examples, seeing houses in real life, like just like your knowledge alone, like it will fuel your creativity, if that makes sense. So like I look at hundreds of pictures of houses on Pinterest like weekly. So just I I remember things that I like. I vaguely remem remember like color schemes and like stuff like that and it'll really help you um it'll really help like your your building process if that makes sense if you do feel like you get stuck in a creative rut a lot uh, i highly recommend just just doing that watching hgtv watching house hunters uh watching design shows and stuff like that and it can really just be a lot of fun and when i i noticed like when you pay attention to design to that extent like you start to notice little things a lot more in real life about like architecture and design and i just i just think it's so cool so anyway um here we are trying to figure out the wall coverings and the floors and at first i was gonna go with this kind of pink uh, pink blue and yellow vibe and make it super bright using like the pet stuff and everything but I was kind of like no it looks too childish at least that's not what I'm going for for this build so I did end up choosing white tiles and a gray brick uh, wallpaper or wall covering for the kitchen and bathroom and I really like how it turned out um, and then blue wallpaper for the rest of the house which was an interesting pick but yeah
Alright guys, we are almost coming to an end here and so yeah, like I said, uh, all three of these builds, it's just like I prioritize the just bare necessities uh, that your sim would need. Um, they all have a double bed, they all have a, a wardrobe, they all have a bookshelf, fire alarm, phone, uh, somewhere to sit to eat, um, TV, couch and like a full kitchen and of course all the lighting and everything um and landscaping so i would consider these like uh true i mean they're starter homes but i feel like they're furnished well enough to where it's it's like um they just don't look like starter homes to me and yeah so here we are in the cinematic shots and screenshots portion but i hope you guys really liked all three of these builds they will be available for download as always just look in the description and also in the description will be any building mods that i use um but all of these lots are cc free they're play tested and they are good to go so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will leave you guys here with the rest of the screenshots and i'll see you in the next video bye bye